everybody, welcome to Simple Art at Home with me, Laura Houston. Today we are going to talk about the National PTA Reflections Program, or Art Contest, and I'm so excited about this year's theme. This year's theme is, I am hopeful because. Now, before you can even begin creating your art or your dance or creating music, you have to think about what it is that you want to convey through your piece of work. So before we get started at the art table, I'm going to show you a quick iMovie that goes over some of the rules and guidelines and talks a little bit more about the theme. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, let's learn about the National PTA Reflections Program. So students may submit an entry in any of the six arts areas that you see there on the screen. There's dance choreography, film production, literature, music composition, photography, and visual arts. A student may also submit entries in multiple categories. That means if you want to choreograph a dance and submit that, and let's say you also want to um, paint a picture for visual arts, you can do that as well. Let's talk about the theme. This year's theme is, I am hopeful because. Well, what does that mean? If you are hopeful, then you are full of hope meaning you think something good is going to happen. The hardest part of any type of art project is coming up with the idea. So let's focus on the theme, I am hopeful because. And I recommend creating a circle map and asking yourself, hmm, what makes me hopeful? What makes me think that something good is going to happen? You can jot down notes inside of your thinking map there, or you can ask yourself, what is right with the world around me that I would like to talk about or show through my art? And then you have to also decide, how do I want to express myself? Am I going to express myself through dance, uh, photography, music, literature, film, or visual arts? You get to decide that. Everybody has to write an artist statement. It is very important. You're required to write a description of your artwork that's between 10 and 100 words, meaning no less than 10 words and no more than 100 words. And the judges will use your statement to understand what you are trying to say through your art. Take your time and put some effort into this step. In a few minutes, I'm going to show you some examples of artist statements that might help you. The judges will be looking at three main categories when they judge your artwork. Um, the first is how you've interpreted the theme. And remember, the theme is, I am hopeful because. And they're going to take a look at how closely your artwork relates to the theme based on two things. They're going to look at your piece of art and um, the artist's statement. They're also going to pay attention to your creativity. For example, how creative and original the piece is in its conception. That means like in your idea of the theme and the presentation. And that's worth 30 points. And they'll be looking at your artistic technique. And that's um, basically the skill level that you have and the basic principles and techniques of the specific arts area. And this judging is the same whether it's dance choreography or visual arts or photography. This is what judges will be judging. Everyone will have to submit an entry form and this is what it looks like. Um, you are going to have to fill out your name and uh, a parent or guardian's name. That's really important because you know, if you win, uh, we need to be able to contact you. And notice that on the, on the screen there, it says parent or guardian signature. Um, that is very important too. And notice down there at the bottom, that's where you're going to uh, write the artist statement. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the specific rules by category. Visual arts. Um, your art piece can be no larger than 24 inches by 30 inches. And remember that visual arts uh, is not just drawing or painting. It can be uh, fashion. Uh, last year, somebody sewed a dress and turned that in. It could be jewelry making. It can be sculpture. So uh, make sure that you look at all the little details there um, on the left side of the screen. Another category is dance choreography. Um, your dance or your video that you submit um, cannot be longer than five minutes. 
Now, with dance choreography, this is not a dance that you've learned on social media. It's not a dance that you've learned in your dance class. You, the student, are the choreographer, meaning you've created the dance. And the when you fill out the entry form, you must um, cite the music that you used in the details section of your entry form. And I'll show you an example of that um, after we go to the art table. Film production is another category. Your film cannot be longer than five minutes. A film can be something like animation, a narrative, or a documentary. And again, if you have music um, in the background of your film, you have to cite the music in the details section of your entry form. Literature. Uh, whatever it is that you write cannot be longer than 2,000 words. And literature can be anything from poetry to a screenplay to a short story. And you can write um, your entry in your home language um, as long as you also submit an English translation um, with your entry. Music composition. The song that you compose cannot be longer than five minutes. Now remember, you, the student, are the composer of the music. So that means it cannot be a song that is already out there in the world. It's not a song um, that is in a piano book that you sit down and play. This is brand new music that you, the student, are creating. This is for sixth grade through 12th grade. Um, if you choose music composition, you need to turn in musical notation or tablature or a technical explanation of the music. That's for sixth grade through 12th grade. Photography. Your photograph can be no smaller than three by five inches and no larger than eight by 10 inches. And the photo must be a single print or a digital image. Um, it cannot be a collage. And remember, the student must be the one who takes the picture. The student is the photographer. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, Mrs. Laura Houston. My email is right there on the screen, lhouston at aesd.org. And for more rules and guidelines, visit the web address that you see there on the screen. Um, the PTA Reflections website has all kinds of helpful information, including um, links to entry forms and the judging rubrics. So um, check that out if you have questions. Have fun with your art and good luck. So I hope you found that slideshow slash video uh, helpful. And um, teachers out there, I put the link to that slideshow in the description of this YouTube video. So um, feel free to check that out because I have several links embedded in that slideshow that might help you. And also feel free to email me as well if you have questions. Okay, let's move over to the art table. Okay, I wanted to show you a couple of things before we start by looking at art. Uh, these are the examples of the entry forms. They do come in um, English and in Spanish. And I just wanted to point out, I don't know if you can see that, I'm gonna try to hold it up to the camera. You know, this is where we need the parent guardian signature. This top part will be filled out for you students um, by your PTA chairperson. Down here is where you're going to write the title of your work. This detail section is where you're going to cite uh, any music that's used. And this section is for your artist statement. And I believe you can type on this digitally as well. And then I also wanted to show you that um, this, this is the judging scorecard. And I always think it's really important whenever my students and I do any type of project-based learning, I show them the rubric ahead of time so they have a clear idea of what to expect. And you can also find this on the PTA Reflections website. So um, just so you know, there's those three areas, interpretation of theme, creativity, and artistic technique. Okay, here is uh, what I recommend starting with. So this is my thinking map, my modification of a circle map. And um, this is also linked um, digitally in the slideshow. But um, so I recommend 
you know, gathering your ideas on some sort of like brainstorm map or a graphic organizer. And it doesn't have to be beautiful. Um, you can see I just wrote, I, I wrote sort of mess, messy on here and that's fine because it's just getting your ideas down on paper. And remember, you're asking yourself what makes me hopeful or what is right with the world. Now, I'm gonna talk you through um, some of mine that I did. So first I thought I am hopeful because um, love is all around me and I thought about um, creating something like in a circle, a circle of love. And I also thought about um, how I'm very hopeful because schools are moving in the direction of focusing on um, a sense of belonging. And I also had the idea that like even though the world can seem a little bit um, crazy, um, kindness is everywhere, and so to stay hopeful and look for kindness. And then I always, like if, if you've seen my art, I always like to draw little birds. And I did like the idea of a statement about like I am hopeful because um, people are good. So let's, let's take a look. And over here you can figure out, um, well, how do you want to express yourself? And, and I'm just showing you um, paintings today because that's what I... Um, focus on but you know maybe you want to um, create a dance or focus on photography or write a poem or something like that so remember you have all of these choices or more than one okay so let's look at some examples okay here's one and I'm just gonna like hold this up so you can see I generally use um, sharpies and watercolor and I do like to use watercolor paper because um, it holds paint much better than construction paper. Okay, the title of this project is uh, People Are Good. And I'm gonna read my artist statement because remember, whatever you turn in, every entry has to have an artist statement. This says, people are good. I am hopeful because people are good. Even though we may hear about bad things happening in the world, most people are good. Sometimes good people just make bad decisions, but if they stay hopeful, they can try again and possibly end up doing great things. I decided to use a bird in my art because of the phrase bird's eye view. This suggests that the little bird in the picture sees what's going on from his high up perspective and he sees good things. I used black ink and watercolor paints and then down here it says 92 words. And if you're typing up, if you're using, you know, um, a Google Doc, you can just Google word counter and copy and paste your text in there and it'll automatically count the words for you. Okay, so let's just, here's this one. Okay, and then let's look at another example. Okay, I'll hold this up first. This is called, Love is All Around Me. And you might think, okay, how is that I am hopeful because? We need to explain ourselves in the artist statement. So here's what I wrote. Love is all around me. I am hopeful because I can feel that love is all around me. If a person acts with love instead of anger or bitterness, then that person will receive love back in life. Sometimes I draw hearts to symbolize love, but this time I wanted to draw organic shapes filled with beautiful colors because love can look different depending on one's point of view. I traced a small plate to create the circle and then I drew swirling lines in the center. I thickened the edges at all the intersections of the lines to get a softer appearance. You see that? And this one is 97 words. Okay, I have a couple of more examples to show you. This one is bigger. Okay, so let's just take a look at this here for a moment. is entitled, Belonging is the Solution. 
Artist statement. I am hopeful because schools are learning that students need to feel a sense of belonging. The opposite of belonging is othering, which means treating someone as if they are not part of the group. When students feel they belong, they are more engaged in class and show empathy and compassion to others. Belonging is the human emotional need to be a member of a group, and most human beings have this need. I am hopeful because belonging is a solution that can change the world if we all make the effort to stop othering. And this is 95 words. And I have one more to show you. There we go. This one, I'll explain why I included that picture. Okay, here's what it looks like. Again, I use watercolor with most of my work. This project is titled, Kindness is Everywhere. I'm hopeful because if I look carefully, I can find kindness everywhere. Mr. Fred Rogers once said, when there is a tragedy in the news, look for the helpers. There are always helpers. I've always remembered what Mr. Rogers said, and to this day, I continue to look for the greater good, even in the midst of bad or scary news. I painted a chaotic jungle scene and added hearts to symbolize the kindness that still exists. I added a golden path as a reminder to stay on the hopeful path and always look for kindness. And this one was 97 words. Okay, um, those are all my examples and I will meet you back up at the easel. So I hope that you found this video helpful and I am happy to help anyone, teachers, wherever you are, whatever state you are in, um, reach out to me. I keep my email right there on the bottom corner of the screen. Students, um, I hope you really enjoy um, this creative process and have fun with whatever you do and I wish you good luck. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time.